Hey everybody, so today I am here to talk to you guys all about how to choose a baby bottle for your nursing baby. When I was pregnant with my oldest Sophie and I had planned on nursing her, this was one of my biggest questions. I did a ton of research and after trying so many different bottles and learning a lot more about lactation, I'm here to tell you guys all of the things that you need to know. I'm not going to be reviewing any baby bottles today, I'm just going to be giving you some guidelines. You know, so I'm not going to push you in the direction of a certain brand or a type of bottle. This is just things that you can use in bottles that you might already be looking at and that way it can be helpful in deciding whether or not it's a good fit for a nursing baby or not. If you're interested in those kind of videos, I'll have the ones that I've done previously linked for you, but today it's just going to be about giving you guys some information. So that leads me into the fact that it's basically three things that you need to know. It comes down to flow rate of the nipple, the shape of the nipple, and also consistency. So the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about, and the most important, is flow rate. Now the reason why this is so important for nursing babies is because when they're at the breast they have to work for whatever milk they're going to get out of your breast. However, a lot of the bottles on the market come with nipples that have really fast flows where if you just stick it in baby's mouth without them even doing anything they actually get some milk whether it be formula or breast milk in their mouth. So you don't want to be giving your baby that kind of bottle. You know you want to try and get something that's really slow flow that way they're working at the bottle not necessarily in the same way or anything but they are working nonetheless at the bottle that way they don't get lazy and they don't want to try when you offer the breast I also want to mention that there's going to be exceptions to these guidelines just like there's exceptions anytime anywhere you know you're probably going to hear of some mom who was nursing and was able to give whatever bottle on whatever day for whatever flow rate and all kinds of crazy stuff and it wasn't ever a problem for her and her baby however these guidelines i feel like especially if you're starting off brand new either you're an expecting mom or you haven't given a bottle to your nursing baby yet it's just great to start from here and it'll kind of steer you in the right direction as far as what bottle to offer. So with that being said, you really do need to try and look for a slow flow nipple. Now I have a bottle here and I'm going to show you the difference between slow flow and fast flow. And like I said, there's a ton of different baby bottles out there and they all come with different size nipples just like right out of the box and a lot of them don't specify. Some even might say that they're slow but they're really not. So it just takes a lot of asking. If you're curious about what bottles have what flow or anything, I would highly recommend joining a Facebook group. You know, there's plenty of moms who use bottles out there who could easily put water in their bottles and tip it over and let you know. There's a ton of moms out there. So I'll link a couple support groups down below for you. Okay, so here is a bottle in action so you can see what I'm saying. This bottle is a great example of a slow flow nipple. There is absolutely nothing coming out of this whatsoever, as you can see. That's great. That is a great starting point. However, a lot of bottles right out of the box will come with a flow nipple that looks like this. Something where if you turn it right over, it's just leaking right out. And that is not what you want at all. You don't want something that's just shooting out of the bottle just like that. So that is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about flow rate. So you want to try to keep it as slow flowed as possible. Like I said, check out different support groups. Ask around. Ask your friends. Ask if you can even borrow a couple bottles and see how the flow rate is on them. Check out the reviews online on Amazon. Stuff like that. That'll give you a good feel for it. But the flow rate is really important when it comes to nursing babies being bottle fed. And on that topic, I would highly recommend looking into pace bottle feeding, especially for nursing babies. I mean, I feel like it should be done for all babies just because it's a great way to feed baby from a bottle so they're not getting too much, too fast, or anything like that. However, I just wanted to kind of throw that in here. The next thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about was the nipple shape. So again, this is going to be something that comes down to baby's preference, but the general kind of guideline that you want to follow is something that has a wider base and a longer nipple. And that's just to resemble what they already have in real life. You know, they are taking a lot of your breast in, they do elongate your nipple, and that's really important. But it's also important that they have a nice base where they can keep those lips flanged out and keep, you know, not the same latch that they keep on the breast, but a good latch on the bottle as well. So this is a good option because it does have a wide base. It does have like, I would say a medium sized nipple. It's not the longest that I've seen, but again, this is just an example. I did want to point out that something like this though, if your baby has a tongue tie or a lip tie, it might be a little too wide for them to 
latch correctly on. So if you're hearing a lot of clicking, it might mean that your baby has a lip tie or a tongue tie and they can't get the right latch on the bottle. So if you're looking for something that is along those guidelines but still a good option, this is also a good example. Again, long nipple, it also has a wider base, but this is not quite so wide. It's just an all around nice, good size of what you're looking for. So again, something like either of these wide, long nipples, that's what you're looking for. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about was consistency. Obviously in the beginning, it's gonna take a little bit of work because you're trying to figure out what bottles your nursing baby will or won't take, and that's gonna take some time. However, when you find one, do your best to stick with it. It's always kind of tempting, so you don't have to keep washing the same bottles over and over again to just kind of use whatever you have laying around. But if you found a bottle that works for your baby, especially if it is slow float, it's got the right shape, nipple and all that kind of good stuff you know don't mess with that just try to keep it as consistent as possible it allows them to adjust to that and expect it when they do have a bottle it also makes it so you don't have to worry about different flow rates on different bottles because each brand really is different like i've said so those are the three main things flow rate nipple shape and consistency. With those, you have a good general direction that you can go in, and I'm pretty confident that following those, you will find a bottle that will work for your baby. I do have individual reviews on the bottles that I used in this video, so I will have that linked below. I'll also have a few of the brands that I do like, but again, I don't want you to take it as this is what I'm recommending. It's going to definitely work for your baby, and that's the reason why I want to make this video because I feel like the guidelines are better than saying, oh, this bottle is definitely going to work because that's not the reality. But if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.